okay today we will discuss about how to create dependent drop downs in splunk dependent means if i select a value from a drop down the dependent drop down will be refreshed as for the value selected in the drop down and in the other drop down so to do that i have created a sample csv file uh, let me show you the file so it, it's a very simple file where I have mm, uh, created different cities and their corresponding countries. Okay, it, it, uh, it just stain records. Uh, I have created just for t uh, because for the demo purpose. Okay, I already index that file into Splunk. If you see, I put a line events, and here the name is the city name, and country is the country name. So. So the idea is to if I select a country from the drop down, the uh, city drop down will be automatically refreshed based on the country selected. So let me show you the data first table country name. Okay, so this 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 is the my data. Okay, now let me add a dashboard here. create a new dashboard we'll say demo dashboard create dashboard okay so now i'll add two drop downs here first drop down will be country drop down token will be country now this drop down will be populated based on the data available in index so to do that there is a search you can run against the drop down to select uh, to populate it so the search will be index equals to main then stats count by country if i run this search just to check it out okay so here is my country list why i use stat count because it it faster first of all second thing is it will give me the the distinct values of the country okay so now i'll select all the time from here now field for label is the search the field will be used to populate the drop down so if you see this search output the country field will be used to populate the drop down so for label and for value it will be both country so what is this two means the drop down the label means the drop down will be also the values will be also austria india and united states and these values also will be using in our in our query so it, it if, if if you want to use count as a value of the drop when you select something from the drop down and you want to use count column then fill for value will be count as we will be using the country only so i have given country as both okay click on apply if you see now this drop down is getting populated with all the country values let us add cities as well similar way cities token let's say city similar way index equals to main state stats count by name name is the city name in our field similar way all time fill for level will be name fill for value will be name to check out the search you can click on the run search okay so these are the city names click on apply So my city name 
has been populated as well so this is my whole dashboard where i have just added two different filters now if we select something here let's say austria i want to list down cities belongs to Austri austria only okay that's the that's the problem statement here so how to do that it's very simple we need to basically pass this token to this search as well as this token to this search that means if i select some city from here it will list only that corresponding country so to do that click on edit go to source okay so now if you see the xml the all the drop downs will be added under this field set tag with different different inputs now this is the search query i have given in that box so this is coming under search and then query so what i will do is after this index equals to main i will add search so as this is country drop down i will be passing the city one so that if i select any city of the search will first filter the data based on the city value then it, it will run the stat count by country so search name equals to my token value of city city i put it in double quotes because some city names could have been could be in uh, uh, could have uh, that space in between so the double quotes will handle that one otherwise plunk will give you, give you error then from the city drop down i'll add search country equals to similar way dollar dollar this country token okay click on save now if i refresh this okay if you see after adding those token splunk is saying could not create the search because search is waiting for input so this this two drop downs are interdependent that means country is waiting for this city token city is waiting for the country token as nothing has been selected by default so the search is basically waiting for those two tokens to fix this issue what we will do is each and every drop down i'll add a static field called all and the value will be star that means by default the city value will be star that means star means star is a wild character in splunk so if a token value is star that means splunk will search the name field which have the values in any 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 name field it will match apply similarly for cities as well i'll add an static option called all and value will be star apply save now if i refresh my dashboard dashboards now if i select a country from okay and now what i'll do here i'll choose the default value default value of all that means by default its value will be the token value will be star so when i choose default value it started working so the token default value has been passed and then if you see it populates the country drop down 
publish the city drop down as well. Now, if I select India, see the city drop down is getting refreshed and it is only listing out the cities belongs to India. Again, similarly for Austria, cities for Austria, if you see it is matching with the value if I just sort with country. If you see it is only listing out these three cities of Austria. So, this is how you create interdependent drop downs in Splunk. It, it, it could be any 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 number of drop downs. If you say uh, I have a drop down which basically dependent on two other drop downs then those two other drop down token has to be passed in this drop down. So, this is how we, we create dependent drop downs in Splunk. Thank you.